Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? And let's be face it, mainly gentlemen. This is pro wrestling. Anyway, it's your boy BQ here. You know the drill. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so already. This is quickly becoming the number one spot for the Global Force Wrestling fan to hang out and have fun and talk Global Force and Impact. So hit that subscribe button. You won't regret it. So this is something I want to try a little bit different. We're going to see how it goes. And it's going to be a GFW spotlight where I'm going to be talking about a GFW star or knockout ever so often. And it's not even so much me talking. This is more um, I want to read in the comments what you guys have to say and what you guys think about a particular star or knockout. So I hope it's not too redundant, but I'm starting with Rosemary this time. I know I did the vlog on Rosemary not too long ago about her standing up for the company on social media. But I thought she was a good person to start with because she's you know, universally liked by just about every GFW fan. I don't know anyone that's never liked Rosemary. So uh, that's what I want to talk about today. Now remember, Rosemary came in the company early last year. She debuted with Decay. And let's face it, she put Decay over the top. Because if it was just the two of them, uh, I don't know how, how cool Decay would have been. You know, like she added that really uh, important extra element. And uh, Crazy Steve was a cool character, but I wasn't buying Abyss, uh, just doing the mask, doing the same old, same old. And then when she did the, when she spit the mist into his face and made him beautiful, that took Decay to the next level. And we just started getting so much character progression from her, with her from, I mean, quickly. And uh, if you remember what she looked like, she do compare. Look at an old Rosemary picture compared to how she looks now and then, and night and day, it's so different. But uh, if I had a, if I had my way, which my way, you know, my opinion doesn't really matter here. She's gonna do what she wants. Of course, she's the professional. I wish she was like continue to be in all black. I think that kind of works a little bit better to be a little bit darker, and maybe it's. I can't even say it's because she's a, a baby face now that she's kind of got the red and the lighter colors because she was doing that before. But I kind of prefer her mostly dark. But, um, I mean, no no complaints about Rosemary because here's the thing about Rosemary. Like, she's ours, you know? Like, she, we didn't get her from another company. Uh, she, she's, she's ours and she's loyal to the company and we all appreciate her so much. And at first she didn't wrestle a whole lot. Uh, but she was very fairly dominant when she did. And the Red Wedding is badass, of course. And now, you know, she lost the title. I would have liked to see her break the record. And someone can tell me in the comments. I don't remember what the record was. I think she was chasing how long. I think she was chasing how long, uh, like, the length of the title reign. I don't, I don't quite remember because it can't be uh, Knockout's reign. So that's what I think it was. But, um... I would have liked to see her break that record, but I thought when she dropped the title, it was, you know, if we're talking from a, a booking standpoint, you know, I think it happened at the right time. I think, I think it made sense. I'll, I'll put it like that. Um, and now we're, now she's chasing. So she went through the table and she's, you know, she's regrouping. And I think common sense dictates that Rosemary's going to come back bigger, better, badder than ever when she returns. You know, she's got the real cool entrance now with the skull mask and everything. And, and just, we love Rosemary. And um, there was a point where we wanted to see her wrestle more. And I think we still kind of want to see her wrestle more. But what's important with this character is that she's not overexposed. And doesn't get a whole lot of mic time in the ring. Because I always felt with the darker characters, they were best suited backstage. But once you start putting them in the ring with a microphone in their hand, they started becoming just like everybody else. And so I, they've done a pretty good job of making her special. She's a baby face. Hasn't been watered down. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let's let's talk Rosemary. What do you guys think? And where do you want to see Rosemary go with the company and the booking? Can't wait to read what you guys say.